Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason and I am your watch guy today. Today I'm reviewing a watch from one of my favourite micro brands, Phoebus. They have sent me in their new Great Wall. Not this fella, but their updated version. Absolutely fantastic limited edition from Phoebus. It's available on their website. They have sent me this one for free to have a look at and show you guys. And the link is in the description. You guys know how much I love Phoebus and if you don't, well, the next 10 minutes are pretty much going to be a love fest for this watch. So buckle in and get ready for it. Let's turn this camera around and let's have a look at the new Phoebus Great Wall Limited Edition. I'm sure by now you're all aware how much I love Phoebus. They are one of my favourite micro brands and honestly it's just an absolute honour to work with them every time they send something in. Honestly, I feel like this is probably how... Wayne Rooney must have felt when he ran onto the pitch with Duncan Ferguson. It's incredible working with a brand that you admired so much when you started out and then suddenly they start sending you pieces to review. It's, it's a little bit bizarre for me every time, but it's always a pleasure. This is their Great Wall, the second iteration, and it is their limited edition piece. I absolutely love the design of this one. They've come back to the drawing board on the Great War model and absolutely smashed it out of the park with this one. Obviously, the first iteration was very hit and miss. Um, not everyone loved it. Not everyone liked it. I thought it was a little bit quirky. However, this one, I think, will be a hit across the board. This is available in a few different colour options and it is 465 euros on their store at the moment. For that type of money, you do get a little bit of a spec monster. It's a fantastic movement, a really nice original build, some very wearable dimensions, and that brushed orange dial is something to absolutely die for. Let me talk you through this great wall dimensions. So it is 40.5 millimeters in diameter here to here. Now it will be get bigger when you include the absolute mammoth crown on this piece. However, it is quite wearable as a 40 mil piece. It is 14.1 millimeters thick, including that slightly domed sapphire crystal. I say slightly domed, it is pretty heavily domed. You will definitely notice it. Lug to lug, it is 47.1 millimeters. And these lugs are 22 millimeter lugs. They are actually really, really substantial and have a really nice presence to them. Very, very industrial, very angular. It does have some really lovely shaping to the case, however. It is fully 316L stainless steel throughout. I love the cutaways to the side of the case and I will get you a nicer close up of that. They do distinguish them quite nicely with that almost bead blast type of effect to it. Whereas the rest of the casing is followed in suit with a brushed finish. We also have a bead blasted effect to the side of the bezel. Now this bezel really does set the piece apart. It gives an industrial feel, however, also plays to that great wall type of aesthetic that they're going for here. I think the little cutaways, the grips to the bezel, really do add a little tone to the watch and to me they almost mimic the pillars or the castles in between the great wall itself i'll insert a picture so you can see what i mean just here the inspiration doesn't end there i will get back to it when we get into the dial we have a very substantial almost masculine i feel like i want to say uh, crown guards over to the side here this screw down crown which is very easy to get hold of quite oversized well i say oversized but it does fit to the style of the watch i think this is a hacking movement i'll just screw that back in the crown is signed very easy level of grip to get hold of very easy to use as you can see the profiling of this case is something else it's definitely a really nice original design from phoebus 120 click unidirectional dive bezel now we don't have any indicators throughout the bezel or any numerals we just have a loom pip up at the 12 o'clock so that is usable however not completely usable as a dive bezel the stainless steel insert does have some nice points at each hour indice and it's circular brushed to go with the theme of the watch and the theme of that dial the watch itself is brushed throughout aside from those indents to the sides of the lugs we have a 
lineal brush to the casing at the side and some lineal brushing to the lugs very straight and almost i don't want to say rough because it's not rough it's very intentional however it's quite indented quite obviously a brushed casing and it does play nicely with the effect of this watch as we move to the case back it does show the great wall itself and as you can see those little castles that i was mentioning i don't know what they're actually called what the actual name for them is but i'm sure someone in the comments will be smart enough to tell me we have a small spec sheet around the outer edge of this one it is a numbered piece mine is 153 out of 800 as i say this is a limited edition piece so it won't be around forever we have a domed sapphire crystal in this watch that protects the dial from the outer world as you can see a really nice domed effect to it sits atop the watch casing very nicely and it does have some good levels of ar coating very visible dial really does help this spectacular look and dial quite a bit Altogether, this watch is provided with 300 meters of water resistance as you would expect from a dive piece this one's fitted with the Myota 9015 movement that is a high beat 28,800 beats per hour movement it is a more premium Japanese movement and a lot of people do enjoy them in these micro brand pieces myself included it does give us this really lovely sweep to the second hand as we get into the dial itself you can see that is really the feature piece of the watch which is a lot to say when you're looking at this casing because that is a lot but the dial really does steal the show for me as you can see the brushing really does leave a lovely effect to that uh, burnt orange dial this was the one i had to go for it just really distinguished itself from the rest of the options that phoebus had up to 12 o'clock we have a black phoebus logo printed to the dial above the six o'clock we have automatic 300 meters now the 300 meters is printed in a baby blue which accents that second hand really nicely i love the fact that the date window is at the six o'clock as it really does give a lovely level of symmetry to this dial and really does aid in the look of it as well as that it is color matched to the dial very nicely and really does go that slight extra bit towards the symmetry of it and really the premium effect of this watch around the outer edge you can see that we have a black chapter ring with the minute markers that does definitely help with the legibility of this piece obviously we don't have any markings to the bezel so it really does aid having this minute marker around the chapter ring and it really does give a level of depth to this watch i think that it really does play nicely with the design of the piece and sinks the dial in to the casing itself we have a shield like indice at the 12 the 3 and the 9 i think that plays in very nicely to the great wall theme obviously the great wall being something that was built to keep the mongolians out uh, a shield if you will a defense for the chinese i think that that really does play nicely into the theme of this watch so very well thought out by phoebus i think personally the rest of the indices are quite a little bit more simple we have an almost pillar like design with a point to the edge towards the center of the dial all of these indices are loomed it is bgw9 loom and it is 15 layers worth of it so you can expect a very lovely loom shot on this one the handset is quite a simple sword style handset it is bordered in a really heavy black border which again i think plays very nicely with the legibility of this piece and flows nicely with the dial and the borders to the indices as well as that black chaptering you can't mistake those hands on here very easy to read this piece the second hand really does distinguish itself nicely it has a reverse addo head on this one a pencil fin second hand in baby blue which accents that 300 meters nicely i think that it's absolutely fantastic this handset i think that it plays very nicely with the dial i think that it goes very nicely with the overall aesthetic of the watch again phoebus really knocking this one out of the park for me let me turn these lights out and let's get into the loom shot okay so this is the loom shot on the phoebus when the lights go out on this one it really does shine absolutely packed with layers of loom i believe it's 15 layers of loom on this one 
and maybe may, maybe slightly out, but it is definitely well spread. It is very, very well applied to those indices. There's a lot of surface area to use for Phoebus on this one, and they have definitely used it very well. I really do like how bold and legible the loom shot is. It, it's undeniable. It's absolutely incredible. I can't really go any lower than an eight on this one. I would like to have seen more markings around the bezel, make it a little bit more functional. However, you can't really say that it's anything but a fantastic level of loom on this piece. And that's what we really do come to expect from Phoebus, especially after all the years of them packing out their watches with an incredible loom. Every release is just as good or better than the last one. And it's exactly what I expect from them now. Well done to Phoebus. Bloom on this will definitely not let you down, guys. Okay, so moving away from that, we move on to this rubber band. This is a really nice, supple rubber band that is fitted to this watch. It does also come with another band option. We have a heavily brushed and very bulky buckle on this piece, and I think that goes well with the design. Two rubber keepers, uh, no stationary keeper on this one. I would like to have seen that. The Phoebus print is etched into that buckle. And again, it does have a really nice angular and industrial look to it, which flows nicely with the watch itself. Now, this is a bigger watch, but it does fit my wrist very nicely. So let me get it on wrist and show you that. Okay, so for a watch that is so big in stature and really does have a presence on wrist, I think that it's absolutely fantastic on my six and a quarter inch wrist. And I think that will suit a lot of different wrist size uh, from mine to much, much bigger. Now, personally, I think that this is a fantastic option as a dive piece for your collection. It fits very nicely on this rubber band, this fitted rubber band, as well as other strap options. However, obviously, I do have to make some criticisms to this piece. I do have to critique it. That is part of the review. And this, like every other watch, definitely has its downsides. First of all, it is a very large watch. It's bulky. It's big. It's very masculine looking. It's not a dress watch. It's not going to be a, a office wear type of piece. It's not the wear me to the ball type of watch. And you do have to be aware of this. It is a dive watch. However, it does have a lot of style to it. And it does have a lot going on for it. It's a very pretty, pretty watch for a diver. And it has a lot of angles, a lot of of curves to this piece to really set it apart i am absolutely in love with the design myself however it's not going to be for everyone as i say it's large it's quite a long looking watch also with these very elongated lugs which stretch quite a bit out onto that band the trick that phoebus have used however is curving them very nicely to the wrist which makes this a much more wearable piece Another thing to mention, the dive function to the bezel itself, it's it's not very legible. It's not going to be one that's easy to use as a dive piece. It's certainly not going to be easy to use as a dive piece just because of that singular loom pip up at the 12 o'clock. Obviously, it will be usable. I mean, if we set this to the hand there, you can see the start point and the minute hand being the end point that you're trying to track however it won't be the most legible piece for a lot of people and a lot of people will uh, see that as a downside to what is otherwise a very functional dive piece i really like the bezel action on this that is definitely something that i should have mentioned it, it's very nicely fitted to the watch and really really premium feeling overall i think this watch is again an excellent addition to the phoebus line i think that the one real a uh, weak link in the Phoebus line was the Great Wall. Uh, and a lot of reviewers said just as much. A lot of fans of Phoebus said just as much. I'm glad that they've gone back and they've released this new edition because honestly, it really does show up that Phoebus line. And well done to them because this is an absolute beauty. So guys, what do you think? Is this another fantastic hit from Phoebus? Is this one not quite your speed? Tell me what you think in the comments. I would love to know. I'm sure, like myself, a lot of you guys are massive fans of Phoebus. They really have come on leaps and bounds over the last few years and really are definitely cemented as one of my favourite micrograms on the market. It's genuinely just a pleasure to work with them every time that they send something in. 
If you'd like to pick this watch up or have a look at any of their other pieces, I have linked their websites in the description. Down there, you will also find a link to my website if you wanted to check that out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.